What if I told you that every single US dollar and euro bill starts its life not in a mint, not in a bank, but in one of the most secretive, high security factories on earth, where cotton and linen turn into money that fuels the world? Today, we're going deep inside the hidden process of how the iconic $100 and $100 bills are really made. And trust me, it's way more fascinating and high tech than you'd ever imagine. Let's be honest, most of us use cash without thinking twice about it. You grab a bill, pay for your morning coffee, tip your barista, or tuck some into your wallet just in case. But behind every single US $100 bill is an incredible story of engineering, art and precision that few people ever get to see. And what's even more amazing, it's all designed not just to look cool, but to stop counterfeiters in their tracks. Let's start with the American $100 bill, the king of cash. Unlike regular paper you'd find in a printer or notebook, this money doesn't use wood pulp at all. Instead, it's made from a blend of 75% cotton and 25% linen. That's why a real bill feels different, almost like fabric. The paper itself is produced by Crane Currency, a company that's been working with the U.S. government since the 1800s. From the moment the pulp starts rolling into massive sheets, it's already loaded with hidden security features. Tiny red and blue fibers are embedded right into the paper. You can see them with the naked eye, but good luck copying them. There's also a watermark, a faint portrait of Benjamin Franklin that's actually part of the paper itself, not printed on top. Hold a real $100 up to the light and you'll see his face appear from within the material. That's the first major checkpoint of authenticity. Then comes one of the coolest parts. The 3D security ribbon. This isn't some sticker slapped on afterward. It's woven directly into the paper during manufacturing. When you tilt the bill, you'll see tiny bells and 100s shift and move, almost holographically. That's not a visual trick. It's a result of incredibly fine micro lens technology that's practically impossible to duplicate. Once the paper passes inspection, no tears, no marks, no imperfections, it's shipped off to the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, or BEP, the government agency responsible for actually printing U.S. currency. This is where things get real. Before a single drop of ink is laid down, artists and engravers collaborate to design every element of the bill. From the patterns around the borders to the microtext so small, you'd need a magnifying glass to read it. Security is everything here. These artists work side by side with the Secret Service and the Treasury to make sure every new design stays ahead of counterfeit technology. Every squiggle, curve, and hidden symbol has a purpose. Even the color shifting ink on the 100 in the corner changes from copper to green depending on how you tilt. It, just another way to prove it's real. The engravers, some of the most skilled craftsmen in the country, take the two dimensional artwork and carve it into steel plates, creating an incredibly detailed three dimensional surface. These master engravings are used to make hubs, which in turn create the printing plates that will actually transfer ink to paper. Those plates go through a series of treatments, including polishing and hardening, to make sure they can survive the high-speed, high-pressure printing process. Printing money isn't like printing a flyer or a photo. The BEP uses something called intaglio printing, a process where ink fills the engraved lines on the plate and then immense pressure forces that ink into the paper. The result? Raised ink you can feel with your fingers. That tactile texture is one of the best ways to tell if a bill is legit. The green ink used on U.S. currency has its own backstory, too. It's not regular ink. It's made with secret formulas to resist fading and wear. Some of it even contains magnetic properties, which help banks and machines authenticate cash automatically. Once the main printing is done, the bills go through additional stages. The Federal Reserve seal, Treasury seal, and serial numbers are printed separately using a special overprint press. Each bill's serial number is unique, combining letters and numbers to form an ID that's never repeated. These identifiers allow the government to track where bills are distributed, and they help detect counterfeit runs if fake bills start popping up. After printing, the sheets, each one containing 32 bills, are carefully cut into individual notes with high-precision machines. Any imperfections, even the tiniest smudge, can disqualify an entire sheet. 
The inspection process is both automated and manual. Powerful scanners check for defects, and trained specialists double-check everything with the naked eye. When the $100 bills pass all inspections, they're stacked into bundles of 100, banded, shrink-wrapped, and packed into crates. Those crates are sealed and shipped under tight security to Federal Reserve banks across the country. From there, they make their way to local banks, ATMs, and eventually, your wallet. Now that's the American side of the story. But what about across the Atlantic, where the euro reigns supreme? The $100 note is just as secure, and maybe even more advanced in some ways. Unlike the US dollar's cotton linen blend, euro notes are made from 100% pure cotton fibers. That gives them their distinctive crisp feel and extra durability, which matters since euros circulate across multiple countries and climates. The paper is produced under strict secrecy, with built-in features like watermarks and a metallic security thread that runs vertically through the note. Hold a real $100 up to the light, and you'll see an image of a European gate and the number 100 appear in the watermark. The silver security thread itself contains microprinting so small that even under magnification it looks flawless, and when exposed to ultraviolet light, the thread glows pink, one of the easiest ways to confirm authenticity. Next comes the printing process, which happens inside highly secure facilities across Europe known collectively as the Fortress Factories. The first printing phase is called offset printing. This stage adds the base colors and intricate background designs on both sides of the note. It also includes early security patterns that form the foundation of the note's visual complexity. After that, the notes receive the shimmering emerald number, that color-shifting numeral in the corner that changes from green to blue when tilted. It's not just for looks, it's another security feature that's nearly impossible to fake. Then comes the holographic foil stripe, added to the right-hand side of the $100 note. When you tilt it, you'll see a portrait of Europa, a mythological figure from Greek legend, along with the Euro symbol and architectural motifs that dance in the light. Then it's time for intaglio printing again. The same raised printing method used in the US, but with a distinctly European touch. This is what gives the Euro its unique feel. You can actually run your fingers over the portrait, the large 100, and the wording, and feel that deep texture that screams authenticity. Once the design layers are complete, the serial numbers are added. Each Euro note has a combination of letters and numbers that identifies its country of origin and batch. These are printed using high-speed inkjet systems that can handle thousands of notes per minute with absolute precision. The inspection process in Europe is just as intense as in the U.S. automated scanners check every square inch of the sheets for alignment, color consistency, and clarity. Any tiny flaw means rejection. Then, trained technicians manually inspect samples to make sure the quality meets European Central Bank, ECB, standards. Once approved, the sheets are sliced into individual notes using guillotine-style cutters with laser-guided precision. Those crisp, clean edges? Not by accident. They're the result of machines capable of making thousands of perfect cuts per minute. Each bundle is then automatically counted and wrapped. Stacks of new euros are sealed in protective film to guard against humidity or contamination, then boxed up for transport. Even the packaging is tracked and recorded. Security cameras monitor every second of the process, and only a select few workers have clearance to enter or exit with the finished product. When you think about it, it's mind-blowing how much effort, technology, and craftsmanship goes into something as simple as the bill you keep folded in your pocket. From the fibers in the paper to the holograms and microprinting, each note is a blend of science, art, and national pride. And while we're living in an increasingly digital world, where apps and cards dominate, these physical notes still symbolize something powerful, trust. Trust that this piece of paper represents real value, that it's backed by institutions and history, and that it's accepted almost anywhere on earth. So, the next time you hold a $100 or $100 bill, take a second to really look at it. Feel the texture, tilt it under the light, and think about all the precision, creativity, and human expertise that went into making it. That's not just money, it's a masterpiece you can spend.
Every $100 or $100 bill tells a story, a story of innovation, craftsmanship, and trust that keeps the global economy running. From cotton fibers to intricate engravings, it's a reminder that the world's most powerful currencies are built on more than just value. They're built on precision and faith in the system that creates them. If you enjoyed exploring the hidden world of money-making, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You'll get more deep dives into the secrets behind the system shaping our world. Stories that reveal how things really work, one dollar or euro at a time.